All right, we're back from Canada now. Uh, so that means back to work. What we're gonna do today is uh, start putting down the wood onto the bed. So got some pipe clamps, it's red oak. It bends and twists and turns and does all that stuff pretty, I mean, it, it gets pretty out of whack. So we got everything clamped up. What I'm gonna do is drill down through and then I will bolt the wood down to the metal. And hopefully, I've been thinking about running a couple more beads down through here to help strengthen up this aluminum. I'm gonna put this uh, edge one on, see if it bends or pulls this at all that I can notice. I probably am gonna run these, but I wanna get one piece going to see how it's going to look contrasting against the aluminum i pulled the aluminum out for right now and uh we'll go from there so i'll use my oh geez i'll use my square and that way i can make sure i get my holes the same it'll look nice and uniform the whole way across i just think it'll look a little bit better but that's what we got going today so we got the first board put on. Um, looks pretty good. I see. Uh, ah, still got to get the aluminum welded up. My buddy who's going to be doing that is actually uh, he does these little hiatuses where he goes out and rides motorcycle all over the nation. So he's out in Oregon, I believe it is right now. But uh, he said he'll be back July fourth. So we'll. Uh, We'll get together at that point in time and he can uh, come over and weld this aluminum up for me. But I'm going to hold this piece in here right now because, like I said, I don't got a backer in behind it. But that gives you the idea of the look. We'll come back here. This is what I'm using for templates to make my aluminum. And they don't have to be absolutely perfect. They do have to be close at by all means. But there's that guy. That. And then... That's what she should look like at the end. Now all the steel that I have, that will be going with, uh, I'm gonna use um, Raptor liner, the tenable stuff, and I'm gonna try to, uh, try to be the same color as the new Tacoma's, that tan color. I think that's the color I've decided on. I think it's a really cool color, I like it a lot. And um, since the bed liner that the previous owner put on the Tacoma is flaking off everywhere, I took a pressure washer to it a couple places. I mean, as you can see, it just it just kind of flakes off. They never did the prep work underneath this stuff, so it's just coming off. So, and I also want to I want to try out that Raptor liner, give you guys a, a video on it, how it works, how it turns out, everything like that. So the whole truck will be Raptor liner, including the bed in that uh in that tan color i think it'll contrast with the nice black wheels that we got on it and i think it'll look really good i still got some some rust patching to do here on the rockers i absolutely this is central pennsylvania where everything rusts away so we're gonna get that fixed up before we do the raptor liner obviously so the raptor liner is going to be something that'll be done in the next few months it's not going to be done tomorrow by any means so uh yeah, let's uh let's keep plugging away at this and see what we come up with. Okay, a little tip I wanted to give you guys. All right, see that TDC, top driver side. So, since this is the top of my diamond plate, if I lay this down, that it's top passenger side, what I'm going to end up with is a mirror image, as in this is going to transfer to the top same as these pieces here uh, here we are this one so this is my driver's side that i've already cut so 
that is a mirror of that. So if you have to mark on a material such as this, where you want to mark on the back side, as long as you make your template and you make sure that you have top passenger side, top driver side, and when I cut the uh, driver side, this was obviously down. And what I did was I made a mark. So I remember, hey, I made one. Now, if I screw up on this piece and I have to cut another one, I can make another mark telling me, hey, there's two of these things hanging out in here. Figure out which one is junk, which one's good to go. So that's an idea to keep in mind when you're making templates. And like I said, these templates aren't absolutely perfect because the thickness of this is way thicker than the thickness of my cardboard, number one, and my cardboard is pliable. This is not. So once these are cut out, I will be very close. It won't be dead on by any means, but it'll be pretty close and I can trim the edges and a lot of these pieces, well, one, two, three, four. I need four different welds on this. So once we get, once my buddy gets back and we get it all welded up, I'll be able to trim the edge so that it fits down in there nice and snug, everything like that. Now, I do, when I put these pieces in, I do want to leave a little bit of a edge or a little bit of an opening on the edges. That way, any rain, any um, mud, anything like that, I plan on using this truck to go hunting. So if I throw hunt, uh, dead critters in here, whatnot, and I want to just wash it out with some water and some soap or or whatever it's got the water's got somewhere to run off and it doesn't just lay in there so there will be a little bit of drainage to this thing so these edges don't have to be absolutely tight as a, tight tolerances but no I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how how doing the templates how you can flip it from one side over to the other and how to keep track of it, it makes it a little bit easier a lot simpler and if you noticed on my pieces I know that side goes on the driver's side that goes on the driver's side this is for the passenger side this is for the passenger side I mark them as I go it, it, it's just a lot easier putting the puzzle together when you have stuff marked so back to grinding Okay, so gotta take a break, but he's got a baseball game, so this gets put on hold, but wanted to show you guys what we got done. We got these bars put in on this part of it. I put it up on here, it's a lot easier to work on this than bending all the way down. So I got these bars made up, and I still gotta cut the aluminum for inside there. But um there was a bunch of places on here that I just had tacked as I was going, so um, I went around, got everything welded up nice and good, 
So as far as uh, that, we're done. Now, on the places like this, we will be making little caps and we'll weld them on. And over here, this will get capped, so-and-so, all the open areas will end up getting a cap. This here, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about actually cutting it like this and then capping it so that it flows back, flows together nice and neat as far as the profile. So we'll see what we get. I'm going to mess around with a couple of drawings before I do any cutting, obviously. But um, as I was stating about the, the gaps for water to drain out i don't see, think anything that i'm gonna haul is going to fall down through there so leave that little gap for some water to run out and what i've been doing is just i want to round off my welds as far as having nice rounded edges everywhere that way once i put the um once i put the raptor liner on it'll be nice and smooth you won't have nice smooth raptor liner and then the hump from the welds uh i just think it's going to turn out a little bit better looking aesthetically that way i'm just hoping that uh i got good penetration on my welds i'm not a professional welder by any means it's just something that i've seen other people doing and asked a couple people that know what they're doing hey teach me how to do this and kind of self-taught kind of given pointers along the way so by all means don't think that I'm some professional welder and and sit there and say oh your welds are junk and blah 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 or whatever because honestly I don't care I really don't um just trying to give people ideas I'm not acting or trying to be some professional or better than anybody else at doing the things that I'm doing it's just something that I figured you know I'll start out a YouTube channel and you know if somebody learns a little tip here or there or if it gives them ideas on uh little things that they've been thinking of or you know heck i'm looking for ideas too i love learning new stuff so yeah that's about that and um i just wanted to get that out there i don't want everybody thinking oh this guy doesn't know what he's doing or this guy's acting like he knows how to do this or blah 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 whatever whatever a lot of this stuff i'm learning along the way on my own too so um yeah that's about that and uh once uh, cody's game's over we'll probably come back i'll probably work on this for the rest of the night because i am flipping from my day shift schedule to night shift so i've got to get used to being awake at night time um oh hopefully maybe by the beginning of maybe by tomorrow morning i'll be ready for uh to put some of that raptor liner on who knows all right well guys have a good night and uh well whatever it is and we'll talk to you later. Bye.